Hi, I'm Daniel Mettler from TuSic. We're the makers of TuSexy, a content management app system for DNN. Today I'm going to show you a brief tutorial how to build a list details setup. That means you have a list of items, you click on it, you get the details, and how you can do this yourself in five minutes. Now, the way or the goal is that you can, yeah, quickly do it. And of course, you can then spend some more time making it even better. And the way I like to demonstrate it is with a real example. You can download it afterwards and install it and discover how the mechanisms work. And so you can be up and running really, really quickly. The result, what we're going to look at is the result for the end user and the editor. We're going to look how it's built, data, queries, the razor templates and how to pass the ID around. And of course, some additional help in case you want to get started. So let's look at it in the end user view. Um, this is the wrong browser. Here, this is what the end user will see. He can click on something, he will get the details, he can click on something else. This one doesn't have a picture, very simple. Now the editor, this is the logged in mode, sees the same page but he has edit buttons. For example, he can always click on edit here, then he can change something and maybe even replace the file. Let's quickly do that. Um, let's take a picture here, drop it here. So that's the editor experience. And of course, everything is the same. Now let's look at how it's built. Basically, we always start with data. That means we have a content item here called question and answer, which has three fields, a question, answer, and image. You can configure what they are. If we look at it, this is the list. Now we wanna get this data out to the template. For that, of course, we need the views. Now, we have a view called all, which will show all of the items. We have a view called short answer, which is the pop-up. And the other one, you can just play around and find out what it does. Now, these views look as follows. This is the all view. And if we go to the editing here, you will see this is what it looks like. It's mostly comments for you to learn. It has some HTML tags that build the structure and placeholders like this one here will put the question inside the list item. This stuff here is just a normal link. And here's a helper that will generate a correct link on the current page. So that's all there is to it. The answer page looks almost the same, but of course has the question and the answer to be shown, plus a conditional show the picture or not. So that's how it's built. Now, how does the system know which items to show? This is how it works. We're going to go back into the administration here. And in the views, let's look at the all, we can configure what data comes in. There's one way to do it where you just say users added, and then you can have different modules which show different items. In this case, we wanna show everything. So we're gonna use a query, which is here, all questions. Now, that means there's a query called all questions, which will deliver all the items, and the template, this one here, just uh, will loop through it and show it. You can always play around with the code later on to find out how that works. The query is stored here. Let's look at the all questions. Basically, all this does is it takes all the data from the app, takes the question and answer stream, which contains these items, sorts them, and delivers them to the target. Here's where the sorting is configured. Okay, the question is a sorting property. We can hit play, and you'll see it has three items that it will then deliver to the target. The target is this template which we looked at before. The template gets the data, shows it, and that's it. So what about the details? The details work as following. The details page, of course, also has a query, and this one will get the item from the URL because our list here will say, add an ID to the URL, and with this ID, it has to find the item. Let me just demonstrate this briefly. If I add an ID equals this, we're still on the same page, but now the other view loads and the correct item shows. So this is how it's done. Um, um, here, the menu is over here. If I go to these settings, you will see that I have another query called question of ID. It looks almost the same. It has an app. It'll take the question and answers, but it'll filter the value. It'll, it'll filter it based on the query parameter in the URL. So that makes it take just one item. If I hit play here, you will see that um, it just has one item in it now. It, you see it brought three to the filter, it results with one, and that's the one you're seeing right here in the background. Now, how does it know to switch views? That happens here. Every view can have a special key saying, if this is in the URL, 
don't show the main view, show this view instead. So here we add in an ID parameter. So what the system does is if it finds an ID in the path, it will then switch views and use that query, of course, which was configured here, question of ID, and show what results from there. So as you see, there's data, there's queries, there's views, and it's all very simply built. If you look at it in the folder here, this is the portals tutorial parent child, as you know it from DNN to sexy, this one here, you see it's just these few files. That's it. Everything else is in the database and it's just click, click, click. And of course, now if you want to make it look even sexier and snazzier, just go ahead and try it. Under this link here, and it'll also be below in the video, you can find all the material you need to get started. Just install it, play with it, modify it to whatever you want, and have fun. If you run into any issues, post it on Stack Overflow, put the tags to sexy and DNN on it, and I'm sure people will love to help you. Thank you for watching. Daniel Mettler for the DNN community.